Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Oven Seven Spore, back with Rule the Waves Three as France. Where, uh, oh, first of all, that ship should probably be mothballed. Um, where currently I am waiting for, you know, some additional ships to complete and some additional ships to rebuild. I was considering this turn, probably next turn, uh, actually now, um, designing a new CL. And I, th I think I will do that. I'm designing a proper modern CL. Um, well, at some point I am going to want to expand the docks and rebuild more of my uh, capital ships. Ignore, 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 ignore. I don't, wa I don't want any air units on my carriers right now. Because aircraft are money. Um... Sure. Enables medium AA weapons. I will take that improved model of the torpedo bomber and now realize that I am massively in debt. So, uh, pa Paris, triumphant, you're halted for a turn. Which means that I, I cannot design a new CO when I wanted to. Um... I'll give it maximum publicity. Torpedoes do more damage. An unassigned guy left the service who was below average, so... Okay, yeah, no chance I can design a new CL now. Anyway. Um, so, this 5th Destroyer Division does not have a commander. I'll give it a, uh unassigned average commander. Somebody else got promoted. Oh, uh, democracy has no... Or democracy, sorry, has no commander. Um, we do have an above average guy here. But I might take an average guy for now and then move the above average guy um, over to one of those ships when completed. I probably should have put the uh, above average guy on, but oh well. I have enough. Democracy is an older ship now. Colonel Belt. Okay, now I have some actual money to afford new CLs with. Okay, um... Let's go 8,000 tons. Clear the graphics. I notice that I have... Hold on. I notice I have a little bit more mass to play with now. Um, you know, which is fine. It would be nice to get more mines. Yeah, clear the... Yeah, clear the main turrets. I'll auto-place the sec bat for now. I want the forward. I want this layout with doubles. I I might get rid of the mines. But you know, that that would be helpful just increasing the risk of enemy ships getting mined. Um our, you know, extra topside load, too. So I will get rid of them for now. Yeah. Okay, so just a new name. Um. Hmm. You know, what? the thought is that I could go with a two-inch belt and a two-inch belt extended instead. Might do a little better. I don't know what a three-inch conning tower is doing me. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that that's an okay cruiser design, I think. And, you know, pretty okay CL design. 8,000 tons. Um, pretty well protected. Pretty well armored. And uh, I think I do need to adjust where the uh, torpedoes are. Um, not, not super well armored, but good enough. And then I will be moving these uh, secondary guns around. Um, port. Hold on. Port forward is there. I'm going to set the position of this gun. Or here. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a new tech. Um, hmm. Can't director fire those, I don't think. Where do I want this? Okay, so I can choose where to position the mount. Um, I also feel like the ship hull's probably a little small at this point, so I'm going to do an auto design here. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go 28, inclined belt, 2 inch deck. No upper belt, but a 2-inch belt extended. 3-inch turrets, twin there, decrease to twin mounts. Just check, yeah, no, no triple turrets. Yeah, 8,000 tons. Um, Okay, I see how they did that with the catapult thing. So I'm going to get a... Uh, I'm going to Q. And I'll do an R. An R is easier to hide. Uh, torpedo Defense 2. Go to the hangar. One plane. Um, give me more, uh, you know, secondary guns, and then oh, we don't have any torpedoes. That was why. So getting the, I mean, not the HI. Give me the uh, ST, ST JK. Um, clear superstructure. Move these. That extra mass going now. Uh, larger conning tower than I previously did. Oh, with slope deck, it should be all or nothing. I'll be remove everything here. Oh, rectangle rated smalls were being used as a. Uh, I assume mine rails. That's where that extra mass is. Um. Not feel exactly the same. Why? Is it the plane? It might be the plane. Yeah, okay, I think I will do this. I think the mass is going to be a little different uh, just because I have less rounds per gun. No, not 400 rounds, uh, 200. 220 
for the sec bat, so she'll have a good amount of guns. Um, I do kind of like the hull form a little more, but let me uh, look up French light cruisers. List of cruisers of France. What am I looking at right now? They're the historical uh, de Goitois class. That is approximately what I am building. So I think that the uh, hull form is a little off. Um, Yeah, okay, so the ship's now a little fatter, and, um, yeah, a little fatter, and, uh, it just has a little bit better of a hull form. I think maybe what I want to do is move that point back a little bit. Yeah, okay, I think I think I like this hull form better. Gun-wise, hip guns are arranged pretty correctly. Um, I feel like... Uh, do I be sacrilegious now and remove the tumble home? Or, no, I think I'm going to have a little bit of stern still. I also think I'm at the point where, um... I'm going to leave kind of the forward deck, you know, colored the way it is. So then this would go over the torpedo layer, right? The torpedoes would not be on this. That would be kind of annoying. Or would this not? I'm kind of curious on that one. Actually, I'm not sure that... I think the torpedoes would still be below layer 1. This this is already looks very cursed. So it's a tumble home stern. Um, hold on. So if I put like layer six, okay, no, the torpedoes are in front of these layers, but would be behind like these layers. Okay, I'm gonna go back to an auto place here and uh, manually adjust these. Set rest angle. The rest angle. I think I will just have all these pointed out. I got two seventy. That'll I think that'll work. Let me position some of these uh where the main battery turrets just a little bit better. I think the aft two are in okay locations. Um. Yeah. Uh. D. Set position. Right there. Okay. I'll oh, hold on. Set position of S. Set position of D. I go late dreadnought. That doesn't really change. Um, 
Let's uh, reset the positions of B and F to be a little bit further back. And then S. Oh, hold on. J. I think J and S are in good positions as is. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the boats. This might be kind of a long... Yeah, those will probably be alongside uh, near where the catapult is. I will be honest. I could have an aft-mounted catapult, but no, I think I'll have the amidships catapult. Um. Yeah. Alright, graphics-wise. So, structure 2 needs to be built around the forward funnel, go all the way out to the edge. Um... Only bring it in a little bit. Kind of go across here. Like this, then like this. I actually might color structure two a little darker. Um, actually, I'm gonna clear it. Try again. Let's try again. So we'll go out, back. In a little in there, back even further. Okay, so normally if I do this, so that gives me two extra points to work with here. I should bring it a little further back there. I'll go out again here. I'll actually do this. Then do this move. And that's the two extra points. Okay. Um, so now I do want to work on some more superstructure, and actually I probably do want to see if I can get the funnels in. So my question is, does that funnel feel right, or... No, I'll probably want to add uh, visuals down here. So one question is, do I want, like, that portion under the superstructure? You know, I have 3, 4, 5, and 6 to still work with, so I'll just use those. So uh, three, I guess, can go kind of like um, I will do like this, like this. I'll actually do a little line in this way, and I'll do another piece on top of that at some point. Oh, you can you'll go out, back. And yeah, you can cross over. Like that would work. One extra point. Actually, here's what I do. So I instead turn this into 
more of like a box shape around where the funnels, or the forward funnels are going to be. Yeah, okay. Um, I, need, I can also move that catapult if I need to, but I, I just, I kind of think it's in a good spot already. Actually, it's in a good spot already. I think I am just going to add a, uh, where is it? Where is it? Catapult rotating, I think. Resting goal. Uh, set it. Set it to zero. Um. Okay, I need an aircraft. Hold on, one of these will be airfield planes. Okay, aircraft wise, I know that there is one somewhere. Float plane one. What about float plane 2, medium? Yeah. That rest angle 180, that its position. Probably more around there. Okay. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too terrible. I'm trying to think, if I wanted to make a separate float plane design, what would I do? So this float plane, you got 1, 2, Assume three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. So I want to have like two floats sticking out back this way. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So that would be doable, actually. But it wouldn't look great, because you'd have very triangular wings. Um, although I think I might have had a theory in terms of how to do that, like, you know, you kind of only... Yeah, there might, there might be a way. I'm not going to bother with it now, but there might be a way to get a better float plane out of it. Um, mathematically, if you go, like, you know... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that would be better, but I'm not completely sure that would give you the look you want. Uh, maybe in some circumstances it would, maybe in some circumstances it wouldn't. And it would also look like the floats are on top of the wings, which would cause you issues. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Structure four, um, I will start it as a little box up here. I can do a little, hmm. how would I do this? I will do that. Okay, that looks that looks okay. Uh, we'll, I'll be able to add like a mast on top of that, and some of that will get kind of covered up. That's structure four. So I have still structure five and six to work with uh, for you know the back here section. Um, I'm thinking. Actually, I might need to copy float plane two medium and. 
change its location because I'll need to get boats in underneath it. Yeah, I just realized that. I'll leave it on there for now, but, you know, I am going to have to do that. So structure five will be... I don't know, probably something... I need more supporting stuff back here. Let me look at the cruiser a little bit better on my other monitor. And I only save structure six for part of the mass too. Yeah, I'm not really seeing too much to do with uh, structure five. Um, there is an interesting option. Do I have? No, I think I leave these uh, on the deck they're currently on. So I'm thinking what I'll do with structure five is I'll do like I don't know this. How about with structure five, I do like, boop, boop. I'll go kind of over here. Uh, I'll do I'll do like this, then yeah, maybe this. I'll do this. Yeah. I have no idea where to put structure six. Um, how about I add the funnels in and the mast, mast tripod for. DL cross trees one. Hold on, what happens if I do the biggest one? Mass tripod for CL cross trees four. So that's just bigger, right? That's just bigger version. The other thought is that I go. Or is it mast tripod with cross tree and triangle platform? Oh, well, that's way bigger than way bigger than I want it to be. Okay. What if I do mass tripod for destroyers, cross trees, medium? That's too small. Yeah, I think I will do mass tripod for seal cross trees zero. Oh, that's perfect size. That's not centered. There we go. Now that's centered. Um, and I am actually going to add in a couple things on top. So I'm going to start with actually a circle. Let's try an eight foot. On top of the tripod, and then I want to do a mast pole. Where is it? Mast pole with simple cross tree. Oh, that's a little too big. Actually, I have an idea. Mast fighting top. Maybe hold on. Mass antenna star C A. I will copy that circle, remove it, and then add it back in up there. Okay. Forward mast is now installed. Little little painful to get it in, but I think it I think it works.
Okay, funnel wise. Let's try maybe a 12 foot circle. Let's try a 14 foot circle. And the second funnel back there. Okay, so I'll do a circle black 12 foot then, which should fit in here. Um, right, I need anchor chains, I just realized. Um, so there's no non-angle anchor chains. Anchor chains. It looks like the seal ones are just too, uh, too big. Even that set's a little bit too big. I think I want ang or anchor chains, uh, destroyer, maybe thick hollow three. Okay. Get some boats in here. Probably a little too big. So let's try maybe a 30 foot boat with divisions. Was that just what I had down? Or no, I think I had a 35 foot down. Um, I'll remove the 30 foot boat with divisions. Actually, hold on. One thing I want to do is. um, Where is it? Let's try a rectangle solid large. I want to kind of cover up the uh, torpedoes. Oh, that's a little bit too big. What about a giant square? I don't know if that's the best idea. What if instead I do a CV elevator? A gray medium. Very warm. Very dark. Okay, CV elevator. Rectangle gray dark, maybe this one. Like, still way too big. Octagon, octagon, oval, rectangle. Eh, let's try a 26 by 40. Okay, so I'm setting that like here. That does kind of work. But I don't think that looks particularly great. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a is there something good? Dream. Yes, good job. Um pan. I'm just trying to think if there is a good way for me to cover those torpedo tubes up or not. No, I probably have to move them.
Yeah, I think I will... Probably position the mounts just a little bit further off to the side. But I will imagine that this is only an overhang. Um, so that it, that can still kind of work. So what I might do here is I might do... You know, let's get a 28-foot boat with division somewhere. I'm going to do a boat, boat 30, boat 30 with divisions, which means I will have to copy the float plane again. Okay, so I will do a 25 with ends, put that there. I will want to do maybe like a 21 with divisions. Okay, you know what? The boat 21 foot with divisions is half the size. Is like, yeah, half the size of the boat 30 foot with divisions. Something's weird. I don't think that's how it works, game. Alright, anyway. Um, float plane to medium. Copy it. Remove that one. Set the position of this one to be a little bit further back. Actually, set the position to be a little bit even further back. Alright, add visual. With this, I will do a box a rectangle square be like an eight foot I'll just do a crane on top of that what sort of crane am I wanting to get at this point it probably would be a solid crane that would be at yeah, the crane crane one is a good pick I probably want to enlarge the box somewhat. Do a rectangle square 10 foot then. Gotta get everything just right on this boat. Does mean that I have to move these two boats just a little bit, so 28 foot will be easy to fit in. The Uh, 25 with ends will be a little bit trickier. I think, I think it'll still work, especially if I set, like, a little bit of a rest angle. I can just get it in. Okay, now I can add the crane in. Out there. I'll set it off maybe like 20 degrees. And then I need the aft mast back here. So in this case, I am going to try... Um, hmm. First of all... I copy this. Set its position somewhere back, somewhere vaguely... Back over here, out there. The mast fighting chop, fighting top with cross tree small, maybe. Although that is going to be obscured by those guns. How about this? I move these back. No, it doesn't make sense. 
little quick mast pull. Good thing about moving the four inches somewhere else, but oh well. Mast pull with simple cross tree. Actually, I want my my version. The uh, an N mast pull with simple cross tree small. So it is somewhat obscured by the guns, but that's okay. If I can get another box in here, I will. Maybe like in six foot square. Just right about there. Okay, I think that looks good. Good. I still have the six superstructure line to do, and uh, I am actually hold on. I'm gonna do something weird with six. So six is gonna go here. Go there. 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 Uh, hold on. Let's try this again. Six will start here. Snap there. No, not quite there. A little bit higher. Snap there. There. Be a little higher. Eh, slightly higher. Yeah, okay. Move layer. No. Okay, I think that is the new cruiser. Are we good? We're good. I'm actually gonna... Send that in Discord as, um... You know, the next turn... Well, I would say the next turn starts progressing, but let's start building larger docks. Oh, hold on. Some ships have no commander assigned, so I will be sending that in Discord when I get the chance. Um, do we have any... We have an unassigned Brilliant, so you get assigned. We have unknowns. We have... Degoitois has a good commander, but... Oh, well. Um, fourth Coastal Destroyer. Have an unassigned. Then division editor wise, fourth coastal destroyer, which doesn't have any ships in it right now. Probably will be receiving some older destroyers when I can take him. Um, okay, cool. Now I can go to next turn and post this and share your designs on the Discord server. John de Arc is commission. One percent weight savings on machinery. Scale helium production. I'm going to turn lighter than air down to low. I don't think it is needed anymore. And uh, honestly, that cruiser design took so... Well, I would say it took so long. I'm wanting to get new... Uh, I'm going to be wanting to get new destroyers laid down here soon, too. So the FA class, um, I'll just devise one off of it. Because we have a. Li I think this has just a touch more weight to play with. Yeah. Um cause I think the Epe's got filled to like, you know, pretty much their weight remaining. Um Oh hold on, something has no commander sign. Uh that one no one doesn't. So that is a Charlemagne class. I'd want someone who's good here. We have an unassigned above average, so take him. Okay, someone else doesn't have a commander. Orbin, a Tage class cruiser. You probably should be getting a decent commander, so if I can grab a decent guy from a destroyer division, that's fine. You need a new commander, which, um. Grab the, uh, above average from Admiral Cecil. 
and then you need someone else. So an average from old Sirkoof. Koof's your sister. Nope. Go. Yeah, Bugo is an old Bugo class cruiser, so we'll grab you. Assigned guy. I will reserve these other Degoitwa class cruisers. Um, who has no commander? Okay, Six Light Cruiser Division has no commander. I will grab a uh, CA. And in this case, I do want a, an above average CA. Grab him. And then this destroyer division. Not an, unass not an unassigned above average CV. I'll just grab a uh, unassigned average. Recent study suggests we need at least 38 more destroyers. I am working on it. What do you think the Epe class is designed to do? And then I'm going to lay down like 8 Mesquitan class here in just a moment. Also, is going to be nice getting the dockyards built up again, but it looks like whatever successor to the Paris class I have to build will not, will, uh, be a little small aircraft types. I, I will have to check in a moment, but let's get, uh, eight Mosquiton class destroyers building. And then a pair of uh, Eilie class cruisers, Isley class cruisers. Oh, it would be nice to build like three of them. And uh, well, I need to get the research back up to 12%. Even though that is going to hurt for a little bit. Request proposals for a new aircraft. I haven't ordered one in a good while. Um, control. I have a lot of modern torpedo bombers. Control, naval patrol. Naval patrol. Let's go naval patrol. All right, no, let's go a float plane scout. No, we have a new float plane scout. Fighter. I think it's got to be fighter then. So, um, I'm going to say range and, range and maneuverability on this one. Okay, who doesn't have a commander? The division. Second battle does not have a commander anymore. First of all, do we have any brilliance here? No. We have a gunnery expert, so you can go into second battle. Eight destroyers are commissioned? That was kind of the point I wanted to get to. So he's past his prime, or he's past his prime. Okay. Now we have some old old ships which need rebuilding. Those Epe class are done. And I kind of feel like it's time to throw something else into the rebuild pipeline. I'm my, uh, I want to refit Strasbourg at some point soon. But I feel like what I kind of want to do is 15 years from construction to an engine rebuild. And uh, she's really close to that point. Because 15 years from there would be, um, you know, next year. But I think she is she's due for a refit. You know what? I will eat the engine rebuild. Okay. This is... I would say this is going to be cost... It is going to be costly. I can't afford it right now. Um, I think I am going to go with a simpler rebuild, probably on uh, Denton. So not a machinery rebuild, uh, director rebuild... Probably reduce the number of 5 inch guns. But I want to try to see if I can get a uh, aircraft catapult on this ship. 
So when W position the mount astern. If I need to remove anything, it would probably be these two squares here. Um so aircraft wise get one aircraft. Okay, so let's see. So I want to remove which casements? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, I don't have visuals for all the casemates, so I can just do that. Well, I think I will stick to the three inch dual purpose for now. Um, and you do need anti aircraft guns. Which means it is time to get rid of a couple of the casemates. I think I will get rid of five. And six. No, not six. Yeah, six. Oh. I'm going to get an additional three inch dual purpose gun. And uh, cram her with a bunch of light anti-aircraft guns. I'm not quite able to get on everything I want. At some point I will need to do an engine rebuild. But uh, yeah. Um... Okay, hold on. Let's add five mount graphics and then I'll add some other ones on later. Can add a visual. In this case it needs to be... Where is it? A um catapult catapult rotating. I want to add a uh plane, so in this case somewhere in here, yeah, float plane two medium. A rest angle two hundred uh, the rest angle to zero. Rest angle that catapult to an eighty. I'll move the full plane a little further forward. I'll move the catapult slightly further forward. And as such, I will move this a little bit further forward. Okay, um, graphics wise, or additional, or hold on, guns wise, um, so set position of the three inch weapons. Where do I think these would go? Hmm. I could see them going there, but I don't think they would. Hold on, what if I put them up here? I think that'll work, and then I have one extra gun. I 
I mean, I would not be entirely surprised if one wound up there, but I kind of don't think that would happen. So where would this last one go? Maybe there. Mirror, 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 mirror. Okay, um... There we go, Denton is now going in for a uh, major rebuild. And then at uh, some point, I am probably going to need to start rebuilding the engines on multiple ships. I do think that's going to be easier on the uh, democracies, but on Strasbourg and like Strasbourg and Ob are going to be scheduled for that soon, and that's going to be painful. But yeah, there we go. Um, Danton is now receiving an air, or you know, is now receiving a proper rebuild. Paris is four months out from completion. I'm going to go probably two more turns. Instead of building more Mesquitean class destroyers, because we did get that uh, weight savings tech of machinery, I might, um, I might uh, re or redesign another one. Anything interesting here? Not really. Oh, Paris is, uh, Paris got delayed a month. I want to see if I can get another, uh, Eile class laid down. I'm wondering if I'll operate, like, the... How I'll operate the cruisers together. I probably will operate the, um... Really twice together. Oh, God. Beat the army as top priority. Awesome! Okay, so... Relations-wise... The US is... Let, let's figure out the alliances here. So, we are in an alliance with Austria-Hungary. Well, not Austria-Hungary. We are in an alliance with Russia. What am I saying? We're in an alliance with Russia. Um... The U.S. is in an alliance with Austria and uh, Britain. Austria is also in an alliance with Germany. So that means that right now, effectively, Germany, Austria, Britain, and the U.S. are in an alliance. Me and Russia are in an alliance, which basically leaves the only opponents, as, or only reasonable opponents, as Spain, Japan, and Italy at the moment. Um, but yeah, let me lay down one more, um, one more cruiser. Hmm. I'll do... Yeah, I'll make a... I'll build a, the cruiser. Du petit toi. Some somewhere in the scrap ships list. Yeah, there's a du petit toi. Um, so she's getting reborn now as a light cruiser. And, uh, yeah. I think with that, thank you everyone for watching. This has been me, No Name Moment Summon Spore. We have modern light cruisers now. Um, and, uh, we have another class of destroyer about to complete and ho hopefully all the destroyers are really just gonna help out because they're going oh you need more destroyers yeah building a shit ton of destroyers i'm gonna massively try to modernize my light forces but yeah uh that is this episode thank you very much for watching links are down in the description below to my discord uh twitch and twitter if you're interested in any of those things uh also down below will be a link to a uh, Rule the Waves Discord server. Um, it's not official, but it is, like, kind of officially recognized. So, yeah. And, uh...
Oh, I should have grabbed him. Uh, and on top of that, uh, there is a, uh, on top of that, um, thank you, uh, what the hell? Thank you, Naval Warfare Simulations, uh, Matrix Games, and Slytherin Games for, you know, giving me the free key for this as I very quickly finish up everything that's going on here. And, yeah, thank you, everyone, for all that, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!